Hello, I'm Phil. This is my pal Brian, right? And between us, we filmed the um, Corsa uh, hydrogen experiment, where we got uh, 67 miles per gallon out of our Corsa that previously uh, was only doing 43 miles per gallon. And we bought with a hydrogen kit on, hydrogen boost kit. On. Yeah. And um, we have decided to go one better, and we're going to make our own cell for the purpose of more miles to the gallon, more efficiency. And eventually running the car on water. There you go. Madness. How about exploding water? We call it, this, this is the exploding water experiment. It's all going to be filmed in one take, so there's no cheating. No, so there's no chemicals being added. We're even going to drink the water. Yep, right. I'll get the water, grab the blowtorch. Right, go for it. Normal, normal tap water. In the workshop. Out of the tap. The bowl is half filled. But we didn't want to watch them filling the bowl up because it took me a good few minutes. This one drop it before I all over full down the jeans. If you don't drop it, Phil. Right, stick that in. Right. Right, fill cells in the water. Tap water. Here's the cup. Oh, you wash the cup, Phil. And keep washing. <laughs> Keep the cup in in case you have to put fire out. <laughs> right, where are we going? How many people are looking at this and looking at this sort of experiment are um, up, up, up to speed and understanding where it comes from? Hang on, let's explain this actually. Stainless steel plates, <coughs> stainless steel rod. Each plate is insulated, so it's basically like a battery cell, isn't it? Um, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, all the way through. Simple as that, stainless steel plates. One positive, one negative, doesn't matter which way they go around. Can you see? Is that coming out on camera? See the fizzing? That is hydrogen and oxygen. Oh, fuck. Turn the lights out now. Yeah? <laughs> oh yeah, turn the lights down. But right, stand back, that's, that's going to make me Love it. Right, that dude, turn the lights back on. That's fantastic. Right, still bubbling, can you see that? That made my ears go. Plain tap water. Look at the gas that's coming off that. That's amazing. Two parts hydrogen, one part oxygen. That's where the bang comes from. Why don't I get spark that go again? There we go. That is what's getting pumped into the unit manifold of our diesel coulser, yeah? Yeah. No other modifications, was no, it? No, nothing. Turn the top. Car. Just plumbed into the unit manifold and taking about 30 amps from the battery. And that was a that was a kit that looked like a I don't know, like a school science fair project. Yeah, that was that was extremely extremely cruel and efficient yeah. kit. This is 75% more efficient. Still tap water. <laughs> <laughs> well, you saw it yourself. One continuous uh, bit, of, bit of film, no interruptions. Simple blowtorch lighting the bubbles that are coming off what looks like boiling water. But it's not boiling, I can tell you it's freezing, yes? Freezing cold. Freezing cold. So, there's definitely something going on here, big. So, um, we've obviously, it's for you. <laughs> we've looked As at usual, those. the phone goes yeah, off. The phone. As usual, we have looked into it a little bit more than um, most people. And uh, we're going to carry on with it. Right? But this, yeah. it's truly phenomenal. Phenomenal. Clean energy. Tap all one. Right. See you when we do our next project. Who was that?